Hey makers this is Ruvin and I welcome you all to my Power BI tutorial step by step series you are watching 12th episode of this series and today I'm going to talk about how you can use custom visualization in the world of Power BI custom visual again is a very important concept many times in the world of power bi out of the box visualizations are useful but let's say in case out of the box visualization does not resolve your need at the time you need to go with the custom visualization so how you can proceed with that let's have a quick look around that but before that if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far do follow me so first of all let me open up my power bi report where we left from the previous episode so here I am on my machine and this is the Power BI report that we have developed in to our previous class, class number 11. And this is what we have applied as a report theme and this is the overall report page I have built in the previous class. Now over here, let's talk about the custom visualization over here. So over here you can see that these all are the out of the box visualization which are available as a Power BI report. Okay. And this out of the box visualization is most of the time uh, survive all our needs over there. But let's say for an example, sometimes our requirements is complex or sometimes we wanted to use some third party visualization. At the time, it is providing you the capability to import the custom visualization as well from the Microsoft app source. For that, you need to simply clicking on three dots over here. So I'm just clicking on here and click on get more visuals over here. Now, when you click on that, first of all, it will ask you the login for your Power BI desktop. Over here, I already log in with my account, so it is not asking me over there. But in case if you haven't logged in your Power BI desktop, it will ask you the login. Basically, this is opening the Microsoft uh, Power BI uh, visualizations app source over here. Now, over here, so many different third party visualizations are available and different company has developed different visualizations over here. Some of the visualizations are 100% free. Some of the visualization has some sort of subscription. Now, over here, you can just filter out uh, depending on what kind of visualization you are looking for. Let's say for an example, if I'm looking for any third party map visualization. So, so many different map providers are available over here. You can simply pick up any one of them. If you simply want to check any of these things over here, you know, you simply need to click on that and you will get the detailing about that particular visualization, whether it's a free or paid or over here, it will show you all the uh, detailing over here that, okay, this visualization is something which is free, what it is doing and, you know, what's the overall rating and when it was last updated. Every information you will get it from that. All right. Apart from that, there are so many other different categories as well available. So just think about what kind of requirement you want to achieve and depending on that, so many different visualization available over here for ourselves. All right. Now, let me just do one thing over here. Just for the simplicity purpose, let me just uh, select all over here. And now over here, this is one of the popular chart over here in the world of custom visualization called sunburst visualization. Okay. Now this sunburst is nothing, but it will just provide you to uh, divide your overall categorical data into this kind of chart representation. It is a beautiful chart, which is very promising with respect to visualization. Okay. So now let me do one thing over here. So this is my sunburst visualization and you can see that uh, this is what which is published by uh, this company. Publisher is this one and it was last updated at this point. All right. And uh, add for free. Uh, when you are adding, it is free, but it has upgraded plan as well. So again, upgraded plan, you can always check out on their website or there is a section available as well that plan and pricing where you can able to get the pricing over there. Okay. So it totally up to you that you want to use the free visual or you want to use paid visual. Okay. You can just choose it from here. All right. So let's add this visualization. So for adding the visualization, it's simple. You just need to click on add button over here. And this is something which is adding over there. So let me just add that visualization over here. And it will basically add that visualization on the page. So let's see here you are. It is saying that, okay, it's imported successfully. And this is where you can see that visualization over there. All right. Now let's try out this visualization. So what I'm doing here is I'm simply clicking on new page over here and adding this visualization on my page. 
so simply clicking on this visualization and that is something looking like this over here all right let me just make it over full page and overall it is providing you the complete guideline of that visualization over here when you are adding that visual that uh, what are the different chart option what are the different data color patterns center circle okay so many different things are available over here Okay, if you want to know more details, they have provided some reference link for YouTube as well as their pricing and website link as well. Okay, now let me just configure this chart over here. So overall here, we earlier in the some of the previous episode, we created this categorical hierarchy for our product data, right? So let's just drag this categorical hierarchy in the category section. So basically, it is just showing the category segment and product. Okay, and overall with respect to that, let me just add my revenue data as a measure. So I'm just adding some of revenue over here. And this is how the overall data looks like over here. So you can see here, uh, first of all, it is showing you the different category over here, like urban category and rural category. And then when you hover over it, it's just showing you the different segment over there, that what are the different segment. And on top of that, we are seeing different product. Okay, now let's say if I want to analyze any slice in detail, like let's say for an example, if I just want to analyze this uh, convenience uh, uh, thing, okay, so I just click on that. And as soon as you click on that, it is just showing you the detailing around that, that okay, it fall under urban categories, uh, convenience and what are the products underneath that. And you can see it's detailing over here. Okay, and even if you go to the third level, like you can just deep dive into it and you can just go there. Okay, and it provides so amazing functionality that okay, even if you want to just go back this kind of uh, this kind of uh, tree map or we can say as uh, you know, uh, there is a specific word for that. It's provided this kind of uh, breadcrumbs over here where you can simply click on that and just go back and come to the that point over there. Okay, and with respect to that, it is also providing you this kind of table option as well so you can convert the same thing into table you can perform search and so if even if you want to apply any filter you can simply do it over here let's go back over here and also the different kind of annotations are also provided over here like uh, if you just wanted to draw anything over here with respect to annotation so it just provide you that option as well when you click on setting here it just provide you the different chart option to uh, connect let's like, say if you just want to convert into half circle like this so it just show this chart into this fashion so different different uh, options are available over here you can choose any one of them if you like you can choose the appropriate data color uh, and you know just apply it out so it's just showing you this kind of gradient color fill pattern you can choose it out depending on your need so you just uh, have that option as well arc setting so many different options are there which you can always utilize to configure your visualization over there okay but this is what this uh, sunburst visualization is offering to you apart from that there are so many different options as well available over here so you know always click on three dots over here and depending on your requirement you can just uh, just pick up this thing get more visuals from here and you just uh go to this overall source and you can just find out the way you want okay now one more important thing i wanted to talk about here that many visualization over here are the certified visualization which means that it is certified by microsoft over there all right now one more important thing as well i want to talk about like sometimes we have a requirement like uh specifically in the world of power bi and when we are doing lots of project management and all we are basically using the gantt chart and those things so you know if you just want to find out those things you can just search over here like whatever whatever is there in your mind gantt chart so so many different gantt chart are provided by different companies you can just pick up the appropriate one and use it for yourself now what you need to tell me in the comment section is which custom visual you have tried and which you love the most i just wanted to hear from you guys as well that what other custom visualization you have tried so far in the world of power bi all right so that's pretty much it for about today's session if you are for the very first time to my channel make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram if you are looking for any premium or professional training you can always look out our website the links are available in the description box 
with that note this is ruvin signing off see you in the next episode with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye